Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is in the Weather Center. And Tony, just another beautiful sunset behind you. I can't get enough of it. Yeah, not bad. I mean, a nice dry, you know, seasonably uh, cool day today. Uh, temperatures that uh, topped out in the upper 40s to around 50. And there you go. Nice uh, orange uh, sky on the western horizon right now. Some breaks in the clouds and uh, really no precipitation. In fact, the next couple of days look very, very nice. So nice. They're going to show you another sunset in um We'll take it to Providence and looking off on the west. I mean, we have some clouds, but breaks in the overcast allowing for the, the pretty sky here. Of course, these sunsets are so much nicer when you have these broken clouds. Uh, temperatures now that are back into the upper 40s. It's nice and quiet. Look at the numbers now. Most areas are around 47. We're going to jump up to near 60 both tomorrow and Friday. Can't stress enough how real nice and comfortable the next couple of days will be uh, uh, walking the dog a walk a jog being outdoors especially in that window from late morning early afternoon next couple of days very comfortable in fact not as cold tonight i mean cool you need a jacket but it won't be as cold we'll stay above freezing and that warming trend warming meaning both thursday and friday afternoon temperatures at around 60 61 degrees of course the, the high temperature this time of year has a short shelf life it's only for like two three hours so take advantage of it uh, still watching saturday closely a uh, potential is still there for some rain and some wind i'm leaning mostly towards the morning and early afternoon on saturday so check back with us and, and we'll talk about it in more detail in just a second average high is 54 and notice over the next couple of days in fact that should be more like 60 tomorrow but you get the idea it's much milder thursday and friday some um, even saturday temperature not bad you can clearly see the colder weather returning the second half of the weekend on Sunday and on into early next week. Some patchy clouds coming through right now are responsible for that pretty sunset moisture across the southeast. We'll keep an eye on high pressure is in control. So when we take this into the future, we'll jump ahead to tomorrow afternoon. High pressure offshore promoting a southwest breeze. Lots of sunshine. Look at that temperature. Very nice. And we'll do the same thing for Friday afternoon as well. Some sunshine temperatures getting in the low 60s. Cold front and developing storm offshore. So as we advance the map into Saturday morning, both working in tandem to throw back a shield of rain here at least the first half of Saturday. We're seeing indications that it may dry out later Saturday afternoon, especially Saturday night. Sunday would be dry, though a breezy and, and cooler or colder day. So a close up look at the forecast this evening with um, temperatures above freezing, a nice change of pace. As we jump ahead to tomorrow afternoon with the sunshine, look at these numbers, low 60s, real pretty. And then tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, skies are dry. And once again, uh, not as cold tomorrow night as temperatures stay well above the freezing mark. So for tomorrow morning, looking good at the 7 a.m., 39, not as cold, 58 by 11 a.m. And we're topping out in the low 60s for uh, tomorrow afternoon, looking pretty good and pretty much the same deal on Friday. Bay forecast with good visibility and sunshine, west to southwest breeze at about 5 to 10. All right, seven day forecast showing some of that rain late, late. Friday night after midnight, at least the first half of Saturday, drying out Saturday evening. Sunday's a dry day, though it is breezy and cooler, uh, looking at uh, temperatures on, on Sunday in the upper 40s. But next couple of days, Kim, if you're walking, walking Marcus, yes, he'll like this weather. Oh, great. He won't need his little coat. No. OK, perfect. <laughs> All right, Tony, thank you. And this week we're going in depth on the weather and we'd like to hear from you. Tony and TJ will be going beyond the forecast with a special online streaming show on WPRI.com. Com. They'll be answering weather questions you've submitted. You can watch Beyond the Forecast streaming on WPRI.com tomorrow starting afternoon. And also coming up tomorrow on 12 News at 5, Tony shares his winter weather outlook. And on Friday on 12 News at 6 a.m., TJ explores snowfall trends. It's all part of an in-depth weather week just for you. So looking forward to all of that coverage.